You want to grab your pens and write this down. These are the prophetic watch words from the watch tower I'm about to deliver. Last year, 2020, 2019 into 2020, I declared that the Lord told me that 2020 would be a new era year. It will be a year where everything starts again. I took liberties to write down the definition of the word new era new era can be defined as a memorable or an important date or event especially one that begins a new period in the history of a person i'll take that definition again new era can be defined as a memorable or an important date or event especially one that begins a new period in the history of a person now hear me child of god does that definition or would i say is that definition justified now so if we were to break down what happened in 2020 was it a memorable a memorable year with important events happening especially one that has begun a new period in the history of mankind so did god lie to me did i lie to you the bible says who is he that seeth or decreed a thing and it come to pass when the lord hasn't commanded it when i said the lord said 2020 is going to be a new era people thought i was crazy look at what's happening to humanity now please write down these prophecies some of you might be wondering what's happening if you not some things didn't happen last year but there are evidence that they are happening. I did prophesy that we should pray for the queen and the duke. That they were going to go. And they are going. It's already happening. Did you notice that throughout last year was there was they're preparing the next king? Everything, everything is happening behind the scene. All these things are not to be joked with. Last year I prophesied about Brexit. I said the United Kingdom will leave what? the eu but we still be in the what eu on the on the very very last few days of 2020 the prophecy came to pass we left what the eu but we are still in the eu through trades the the, the only two days the eu locked the borders united kingdom were in trouble now write down these prophecies these are the things the lord said to look out for in the year 2021 number one the lord said that 2021 is the light year which we are already aware of the bible verse for this year is isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 22 write it down make sure you read every day these 22 verses from isaiah chapter 16 to your life let it be the sure word of prophecy for the existence of your life on a daily basis and i pray as you do so the light of god Will indeed shine upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two, write this down. The attack against the church, the Lord said, is going to increase a great deal this year. The Lord said, We desire church services, but find none. Because the attack against the church this year would increase a great deal. He says, Pray for my servants around the world. Don't bash them because you bash them, you bash me. The attack against the church would increase a great deal this year, said the Lord. Number three. The Lord said that this year, 2021, we are ushering a dispensation where the truth shall be withdrawn from the earth. Giving men and inconsistent believers to deception and lies meaning deception and lies will be celebrated over the truth like never before this year 
the Lord said, the truth will be withdrawn from the earth like this. Men will believe deception and lies over truth. He said, watch out. Number three. Oh, number four, I beg your pardon. He says, he said, many shall see darkness and celebrate darkness as it was, as though it was the light. He says, and the true light of God shall be called false or fake because of its simplicity in appearance and authenticity in delivery. Don't celebrate extravagancy this year. It's not the light. The Lord said this year is going to reveal his light through simple things and in simple places. You can be walking down the road and what looks like a drug addict start preaching to you. Don't tell him, please shut up. A donkey stops you and prophesies to you. Don't slap the Don't shut the donkey up. He said he will, sp he will reveal his light through simple, simple things and in simple places. He said, extravagancy will not be a place I will, exp I will, I will show myself. Mm -mm. Last year, I prophesied. I said, all these many false prophets will be exposed. Many of them will be fired and retired. Did it happen? Number five. The Lord said this year will be the full, there will be a full evidence and the rapid rise of the new world order. Various governmental officials and dignitaries, in brackets, presidents, prime ministers, and monarchs, royalties, they shall openly ask for a one world system and a one world order. They will no longer hide behind it. They will demand it. They will ask for it openly. And you'll be shocked who the kind of people that will ask for it. He said, don't celebrate such. It will be sold to humanity and to nations. That is the way out. Because this virus, supposedly, I don't know what this virus means. This supposed virus is all part of the scheme to put the world in a reset mode for what they want to really launch. The Lord said this 2021, high street banking will disappear quickly and very fast so that you can be monitored like never before. Things like cash will begin, will begin to f disappear and everything will be done ele electronically. High street banking will disappear fast. The Lord said, many companies will never return to physical work many will start working fully remotely. He said it's part of the system to, pick, to keep people programmed and under the authority and the sovereignty of that one world system they are preparing for. So get ready and pray. Number six, the Lord said, okay, that I, I went in there, I said the rapid liquidation. His exact words were, son, write this down. There will be a, a rapid liquidation of frontline and high street banking and detailed streamlining of the use of social media internet and the what online world this is aimed to revoking the liberty of the people social media will be restricted heavily this year the government will come for social media and not for the big, the big guys earning the billions, but for those who are enjoying or meant to be using social media to, to express freely their mind. And one of the groups that will suffer a lot is the church. Look at me. What's your name? Audrey. 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 I want to, the Lord says you speak to your mind and your body. Those were the two things. Speak to our mind and speak to our body. I don't know why. To speak to your mind and your body. I address your mind by the grace of God today. That the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rests upon you. And your mind I put into authority. 
under the sovereign rule of Jesus and from this day everything that needs to be arrested your mind I arrest it now and I put your mind into subjection of the Holy Ghost I speak to your body I speak health I speak life the Lord said he will give you marital joy I don't know why the Lord said he will give you marital joy because it's been one of your cry Audrey marital joy is coming it's been one of your cry the Lord said the days of your secret tears are over he's going to give you open laughter now and give you reason to sing new songs you're a woman that really loves the Lord. You're a woman who is pure in heart. But your simplicity has been abused by many. And your kind-heartedness has made people think that you're a weakling or a fool. But the Lord said that is why he's found you today. For the lifting up your head. The lifting up of your head. Audrey, as you rise up from this place, you rise up a new woman. A woman of virtue and a daughter of Zion in the name of Jesus. Now, number seven of the 2021 watch prophecy. Prophecies from the watchtower. Number seven. The Lord said, 2021 shall be a year of three dimensional level of rest for us. Are you listening? This year shall be a year of three levels of, shall be a year of three dimensional level of rest 777 is 21 and I prophesy that rest you shall enjoy it Amen. every aspect of your life shall enjoy rest Amen. in the name of Jesus number 8 the Lord said there is going to be a massive move of God upon the earth like never before this year even in the midst of the darkness even in the midst of the trials upon the earth there's going to be a massive move of God this year. And the father went on to say, the time has come and now is that time where revival is bringing out and being birthed from unusual places and unusual persons and by unusual people. They will, look with, they will come around looking rough and rugged with tattoos and long braids and and all earrings and they won't look like what you would approve but the lord said i have approved them to speak my word and to bring fire and revival into the earth and onto the earth because those i entrusted with such assignment has filled me with canal desires and a pursuit in the body of christ that i'm going to now use the so-called outsiders to establish my kingdom desire on earth like the church of philadelphia in revelation 3 verse 7 to 13 they will keep the word of my patience without denying my name said the spirit of god so this year don't look at someone that comes with tattoo and judge them because they, they're probably carrying the more of the spirit of God than you with, with that tattoo. Oh, why she got mini scared? Why, what, what is wrong with her? Oh, oh she, she, she's, she's a prostitute. Says who? The Lord is going to the prostitute to use them to bring revival now. And, and you, Mrs. Holy, Holy. Good luck. Number nine. Please write this one down not only on your book but tattoo it to your medulla oblongata the lord said watch out for these dates every month the 8th and the 28th of each month in this 2021 he says watch out especially even the eighth month of this year the eighth month of this year and every 8th and 28th of each month in this year he said watch out he says these are strategic dates for mysterious manifestations from angelic visitations he said angels will be visiting on the 8th the 28th every month so if you if you're meant to be at work those days just turn it to your day of pray, waiting on the lord if if you can take day off on this date 8 and 28 every month 
So what I'm going to be doing is that every 8 and 28, I'm going to be having special services as well. Because I can't miss out on that. And the eighth month, which is the month of August. Number 10. Nigeria, Nigeria. 2018 into 2019 crossover service. The prophecies are all on Apostle TV. So if you haven't heard it, go and watch yourself. I'm not lying. I prophesied and I said, Buhari is not Nigeria's Messiah. Buhari is not Nigeria's deliverer. Buhari will bring further damage to the nation. People cost me. I received threats. Even one of the securities to the president sent someone to... to <laughs> but I told him I was not afraid. I said, if he comes back to power, Nigeria will suffer. And I prophesied and I said, Atiku was God's choice for Nigeria at the time. Everybody said, I must be mad. How can you bring a former military leader who's embezzled the money to be the president of the nation? I said, is God's choice and God even, if God could use Cyrus, why can't God use Atiku? I was insulted and abused. Look at Nigeria and Nigeria is suffering. Where minimum wage cannot buy a bag of rice. A president that they don't believe, it, they don't know if he's dead or alive. But hear me. If you remember during the lockdown, I prophesied and I said that I saw, I saw the power. I saw the power living the, capi the capital, pa capital power living Abuja. I mean, if you remember the prophecy, it's, it's online. So they won't say I'm lying. Go and check it. It's online. I prophesied during the lockdown when I was having the, um, the prophecies and my ministrations on Apostle TV. One of the prophecies for Nigeria was that I saw power living the north, living the Abuja as a whole. Changing hand. Everybody said I'm crazy. Yeah, this 2021. This is what the Lord said he's going to do. The Lord showed me a broom. And this broom was sweeping Nigeria clean from all form of Godfatherism. The Lord said, the control tower of Nigeria is shifting base from Abuja the north. He said, Nigeria, your glory has come. Nigeria, your glory has come. He said, like what happened in the days of Pharaoh, where the spirit of death overed over the nation, Egypt, and the firstborns of Egypt died cheaply, even the firstborns of their cattle. He said, now he's going to release a broom into Nigeria, and silently and quietly, you will see Godfathers <laughs> wiped out. Those that would escape the spirit of death we try to run out of the nation into holes. But thus says the Lord, I will find you in the hole and bring you to books and make you accountable, says the Spirit of God. Nigeria's glory shall not be covered. Nigeria shall be established and time has come. I also prophesied over the, oh, I, I, I also prophesied over the, um, um, time cross, over the course of the um, lockdown. That, um, was it Unam Dikalu? I said he should go and sit down. He's just a noisemaker and he's a nobody trying to use the pain and the vulnerability of the Eastern people for his fame. God did not call him for nothing. God didn't call him for Jack. Nigeria is a nation under God and a God over that nation. Still exists and he's saying to the Nigeria, we stand and Nigeria will fulfill our destiny. And whether the devil likes it or yes, this word is established in Jesus' name. Number 11. The Lord said, pray for our children. Secondary school children and primary school children, we have to pray for them. Because the Lord showed me that in the realms of the spirit, our children want to be used as specimens and guinea pigs. Specimens and guinea pigs. I saw an invasion of schools. And children being used As a propaganda tool to facilitate the agenda of the enemy. Why would parents wear masks and children don't wear masks? Are they not human beings too? And we don't ask questions. Why would you stop parents from going to school, but you don't stop to work, but you don't stop parents from um, children from going to school? We don't ask questions. The Lord said, "Pray for your children this year. Before your children go out every morning, 
anoint them, blast tongues. Now you have an anointing oil. That oil is meant, that oil is called anointed for light. Anoint them, speak, oh, speak, grab the head of your child. Masha, yeah, yeah. Take, 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 speak. One prayer you will pray over your child's life this year is, Lord, may my child not be attractive to the eyes of the wicked. When they come for to, to suck blood, to steal virtue, to, to, to consume glory, may my child, they see my child, don't find the child attractive. Let something come upon a child that makes my child unattractive to their agenda. I prophesy every child connected to this grace and every child connected to this ministry is exempted from such wickedness. Number 12. The Lord said, there shall be a shaking in the house of parliament this year in this country. There will be a shaking in the house of parliament this year. Please pray for the prime minister. I saw the prime minister having a big, massive power struggle and contention with the mayor of London. Number 13. Scotland will begin its next, but this time, established exit from the Union. Scotland will begin its next, but this time, established exit from the Union. This is United Kingdom in bracket. And Scotland will actually get freed from the, U, from, from, from the United Kingdom umbrella. United Kingdom will then be left with England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The moment Scotland has moved on, Northern Ireland will then press to be free like Republic of Ireland. And watch out, between now and four years, what will be left will just be United Kingdom having England and what? Wales. This is also currently the biggest concern of the monarch of this country. The concern of Scotland walking away Northern Ireland building confidence to also do the same. The Lord said this year is the year where Donald Trump he said despite all the ridicule is going to justify him as someone is saying. People say prophet are you this Donald Trump fan? I'm not a Donald Trump fan. I'm just a word of God fan. Um Joe, Joe bind him. Eh? Joe bind him. Eh? Joe bind him. It's not God's choice for the United States. I travel to America, so I might not have big fans. Do I know they listen? But it's not God's choice for the United States. Donald Trump in four years did what Obama couldn't do in eight years. Barack Obama is the worst president. If you go and check his economic record, track record, everything is evident. What did he do for the black community? Jack. Donald Trump empowered black. Black people are the most laziest. Especially black Americans. They want to live on welfare when Donald Trump wants to empower them above welfare. And some stupid group are manipulating on the, on the vulnerability of the black race using the pain of our ancestors to to, to push a, a move called black lives matters when all lives matters a black man's problem is a black man black men are shouting about chains you might not have physical chains in your hands and feet anymore but the black man an average black man walks around with a mental chain Break free from the mental chain and you might just start living. Break free from it. Break free from it.